What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today is a review of uh, a docking station. Not just any docking station, but a hard drive enclosure. Something like that. What this product does is it takes your internal hard drive, whether it's a 2.5 inch or a 3.5 inch. So in this case, we have a 3.5 inch desktop internal hard drive. And then you can also do a 2.5 inch internal laptop drive. So that can go for you know, the regular hard drives uh, in the laptops as well as solid state drives. Those are two and a half inches, which is smaller than this one. This one is obviously a three and a half that's meant to fit inside your desktop. All right, this product allows you to take this hard drive and use it externally so that you can plug it in via USB. So without further ado, let's take a look at the device itself. Let's start with over here at the ports. So you have a port for your USB cable and you have a port for your DC adapter, which is the power cord. And of course, on the left and the right side, you have nothing. And on the top, you have the power button to power on the device. And then if you look at over here, this is the space that the hard drive will be sitting in, whether it's a three and a half inch or a two and a half inch, all right? And over here, you have a SATA connection because now these days, that's the kind of connections that the hard drive takes. And as you can see, on this hard drive right here, we have a SATA connection, all right? Now, yes, this one does not take any IDE drives, but then again, if you're using an IDE these days, unless if it's still useful and it still works and you still have a good machine uh, running that only accepts IDE, uh, in this case, uh, in the modern world, you should be using SATA because it is a little bit faster. But then again, if you can make use of your old parts, go ahead and keep using them. So as you can see, this thing is big. I mean, look at that compared to my hand. Like my whole hand, my hand's not uh, that big. Like I would say it is kind of, but it's not overly huge. You can see I can grab this thing with one hand, no problem. Let's take a look at this just as an unintelligent comparison compared to my iPhone right here. So, let me bring this around here. I do apologize, it is charging right now. And as you can see, the iPhone is sitting on top. And then if I move it on to this side, so uh, I would say lengthwise, vert, um, if you have this thing in the horizontal orientation, like the landscape orientation, this way, from here to here, it would take like two iPhone 5s, and then you have another one right here if you were to place it right here. I mean, that's just a, a a little comparison just to give you guys an idea of how big it is. And then here it is compared to a hard drive, a th three and a half inch hard drive. As you can see, you can see the size of this thing. All right, so. Now that you have your uh, enclosure hooked up with a hard drive in there, uh, when you push the power button, you will get a blue indicator on the device itself. And then, as you can see in Windows, uh, in this case, uh, your hard drive will pop up and then you just open the view files uh, on your hard drive. And whether you're using this on USB 3.0 or USB 2.0, the indicator will stay blue uh, no matter what and uh, you'll be able to hear your hard drive spinning uh, when you're very, very close to the product and uh, listening to it. Uh, and of course you can uh, stop it from running by just shutting off the device but to properly uh, disconnect it from the operating system of course you know the idea of going to your notification or your little uh, notification popper right here and you're just gonna uh, eject it from and Windows and then you just eject the drive right there and then you can shut it off and that that's the hard drive making the sound by the way so let me just uh, disconnect this right here and when you disconnect it from Windows it, your hard drive will actually automatically stop running on the device itself and the light will turn uh, purple or pink whatever that color is magenta I don't know and then you can just push the power button and then your device fully shuts off and now I was able to do a test by copying a file 
uh, onto this thing, and if the file wasn't that huge, I mean, it was about 18 megabytes, and that uh, transferred onto this hard drive uh, within, I would say, less than 3 seconds, but keep that in mind, that depends on the type of hard drive you're using, whether it's using 7200 RPM, 5400 RPM, or if you're actually using a solid state drive, so... It really depends on what kind of connection you're using. In this case, I'm using USB 3.0. What kind of hard drive you're using. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the RPMs for this hard drive. And uh, really, it, it depends on how big of a file you're transferring. Alright, so after seeing how it works with your operating system, in this case it was Windows 7, but the same could be said if you were to use this in Vista or 8, uh, probably XP as well. Uh, Mac OS 10, as far as that's concerned, yeah, it may, uh, you know, Mac OS 10, I haven't played around with it for a while, but the process should be relatively similar. Now, with this product, you do get, uh, of course, your power cable right here, and as you can see, this thing is a brick. The, this, you plug this into your wall outlet, and then you plug this into the DC port right here, like so. And then you take this USB cable right here. As you can see, it's got that uh, fuff, that funky little end um, for the docking station itself and then USB. And what I like about this is USB 3.0. As far as the length of this cable is concerned, I mean, it's not too bad. Pretty long. Uh, I did measure this. It's, it is about 35 inches if you include this part of the cable which is the USB plug, and then this part of the cable, the USB plug for the docking station itself. So, what is it like to use one of these? Well, the way this works is, you take your hard drive, and you just, with the SATA connection facing in, of course, and you basically just slide it in, and then you plug it in, and then that's it, the way you go. So, what is it like to use one of these? Well, I'll tell you what, if, <laughs> you need to uh, format your hard drive or something and you got another computer uh, to do it and for some reason you're having trouble with your current computer you can always take this hard drive out of your current desktop or wherever you have it placed in your server or whatnot and put it in one of these plug it into the computer via USB uh, a working computer or whatever computer that could be and you can format it or you can drag and drop files into it and that's uh, for pretty much what you can do. Um, of course, you can't install operating systems on this uh, externally because these have to be sitting inside the computer plugged in and then you install your operating system from there. But to drag and drop files and then if you want to pull any files uh, out due to the fact that your computer is not working such as maybe you flashed your BIOS and now uh, you, you pretty much screwed it up or if you have to send your computers in for repair but you don't want to send it in with a hard drive and you want to pull some stuff out if your computer wouldn't turn on. I mean there is various and multiple reasons why you would want to get a product like this. And as you can see the list can go on and on. All right so as you can see the hard drive sits in there very well. One thing if you're going to be moving this thing around first of all if the hard drive is running i recommend that you don't because it's very sensitive to motion so you don't want to do that also you do not want to flip this over now if you flip this over this thing will pull out a little bit in fact let me try to let go of my finger a little bit as you can see you see how that's moving by doing that i'm worried and of course to pop it out is just to pull it out i'm worried that this SATA connection right here will oh, break if I just let it flip over all the way. But this is something that you should not uh, be moving around a lot. The way this product works, the way I see it is you just let you should just let it sit somewhere, whether it's on top of your computer or on your desk, and leave it alone. Do not touch it or anything. The only time you should be touching it is if you're powering on your device, you're powering it off or when you're sw swapping out the hard drives. Now, I have talked to somebody about this and they're like, hey, it shouldn't break. And 
I guess it wouldn't, but at the same time, you don't know how sturdy that is. And just by the look of it, it may be a little bit sturdy, but it's still possible that SATA connection could break. But I will tell you this, I do like using this product. In fact, this is more like for the home use. If you're going to be traveling in about from building to building and you're always taking this everywhere you go, I wouldn't recommend using this for that because this is not exactly portable. In fact, let me see if I can get the original box out because this is the original box it came in. And if you plan on using this as your case to put this on because you don't want to just throw this thing in the backpack, you never know. Uh, uh, whatever stuff you have in there might uh, be interfering with this thing uh, that that thing could break in a way uh, unless you're really careful but I see most people whether they have something like this or if they have a portable one they just take they just use the original box just throw everything in there and then take it with them all right and as you can see this box is pretty big all right, so no, the way I see it, this is not very portable for uh, any user out there. This is more likely for the home use, for the office use, and you're not taking it everywhere, and you're just leaving it there. And this product is useful because I have multiple computers, all right? I have my Sony Vi laptop, I have my Acer laptop, I got my HP desktop, which is very slow huh, as crap. Yeah, with a Pentium 4 processor, but I put system images on those, not on this particular hard drive, but on this one that I have labeled, and something just fell off, but this is where I keep my system images for uh, uh, those devices, all right, and I do it externally, and then I can pop up the Windows 7 system repair disk, or the Windows 8 recovery drive, Windows 8 uh, repair disk, Oh, well, whatever the case may be, load the system image from the hard drive and then restore my computer back to those images. And the only way you can do that is if you do it externally on an actual hard drive. You can't store system images uh, on USB flash drives. Gotta do it from a hard drive. Alright? Now, keep in mind, every time you're always sliding this in and out, in and out, it's gonna be sliding on this product itself. And I don't know what happened here, but as you can see, I got a little, little mark right there. Doesn't look like a scratch mark. Maybe a scratch, I don't know. But this thing is nice. It is nice. It does feel good. It's made out of plastic, and this is gonna get scuffed up if you keep putting stuff on it. I mean, let's take my case. As you can see, I'm probably scuffing that up right now, and it's already got some hairline scratches. I can take this, you know, just be careful with your products, but, you know, that doesn't stop the functionality of the product, and the LED indicator still works. Alright, so that's pretty much the whole purpose of this product, just to take these and use them externally. Alright, would I recommend this product? Yeah, I would. But this is going to depend on uh, certain um, situations. If you're just going to be uh, running this thing at home, great, buy it. If you're going to be uh, taking something like this out and about, and you're constantly bringing that with you back and forth, and you're just leaving it inside your backpack, I recommend you uh, look at something where it's not a docking station. More like uh, an adapter, I would say. Um, I do have that Sabre one. Uh, I, I forgot uh, what, what kind that's called. I'm pretty sure it's called an adapter. All right, That thing is portable. I can take it anywhere. And I will do another video comparing the two right here. All right, But other than that, this is more like for, okay, let's stay here and do not go anywhere. That's pretty much what this is. All right, and you could basically use this for like backup purposes. And so like if you don't want to use or buy external hard drives because you have so many of these laying around uh, for the computer geeks out there, go ahead and pop this thing in and the way you go. And so yes, I would definitely recommend this, but only if you are you don't plan on taking this anywhere. And 
uh, is just staying inside wherever you're keeping it and that you don't have any IDE drives. This is only SATA and if you don't plan on plugging uh, optical drives or CD drives externally, just internal hard drives uh, with a SATA connection, this is the one to get, all right? I forgot how much I paid for this, but I actually bought it on Amazon and it was actually shipped from Tiger Direct but because that was the box that it came in, but my order was through Amazon, but I will put a link in the description below if you guys want to purchase this. You know, I'll do it on Amazon, Tiger Direct, New Egg, uh, or whatever it may be, whichever one still carries this product. And it's made by Pluggable. Really nice product, guys. And like I said before, go ahead and get it for that purpose. And anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.